uh, uh, what's the framework of an assay that you can kind of fit most IVD uh, assays into? Uh, and so you mentioned, you know, sample to answer, right? So sample collection is always at the beginning of, of any given assay. Um, and that sample might be, you know, blood or spit or stool or any number of other gross substances. Um, and then from that sample, you're, you're usually trying to extract some kind of target, right? so some genetic target. So, so from that sample, you have some extraction step. So, and that means basically busting open cells, pulling out, um, you know, the DNA using, you know, presumably some kind of magnetic capture. Um, and then amplifying that. So you perform PCR, you know, DNA amplification to get ab abundant copies of your, uh, of your sample. Um, and from there, I thought this was kind of where it was a neat exercise, you know, that we did it kind of bifurcated into, um, sort of targeted detection where once you have your amplified sample, you're looking for a really specific genetic marker, let's say. Um, and so it's, it's more of a, a detection paradigm. It's either binary there or it's not there. Um, but you know, the, the other path and, and one that's you know, more, um, more prevalent, um, as sequencing that is getting cheaper is, is sequencing itself that you, you know, sort of get the, the, uh, basic target you're looking for, and then just sequence the whole thing. And then you have that data you can perform the, uh, the analysis on that, that genomic data. So it kind of bifurcates in those two paths, but both of those, you know, most commonly are, are driving some kind of, um, results, some kind of, uh, you know, information that's, that's driving clinical action. And that's. That's sort of the key output of, of, uh, um, really any IVD assays. It's not just the information, but what, what clinical action does it drive? So is it a, you know, does a diagnostic call for a disease? Is it, you know, whether or not you have COVID, um, you know, so that, that is the kind of full framework from, from sample collection to uh, clinical action. And of course, as we're talking about, sometimes it only makes sense for a, a particular product to focus on. Maybe it's just that analysis. Maybe there's some way you can just get raw data and, and you have a, uh, an algorithm. Uh, that's unique or, or, or adds value beyond anything else out in the market. Um, or maybe it's just a sample collection step that makes it so that you can maybe get tested for COVID without having to get a, you know, a Q-tip stuck up your nose. So there's kind of space within that framework for, for, uh, you know, innovation and then focus and value add, um, you know, by any number of, uh, um, companies or approaches. Right. Oh, it sounds pretty easy, Jeff. You just laid it out. Yeah, no, no problem. Then you just automate it. <laughs> <laughs>